Hope everyone is doing well on this Friday. Uh, let's dive right into it with a couple of uh, Mishnayos to get us through to Monday. Uh, we're up to Mishnah 9, uh, Mishnah test. Shimon ben Shetach Homer. Shimon ben Shetach says, Havi marbel lachkor es ha'idim, v'havi zor b'dvarecha, shema mitocham yilmedu l'shaker. So this is sort of a uh, continuation of the last Mishnah when it's uh, talking to judges and not to, to give away too much uh, within the court case. So before we said, don't act like a lawyer explicitly telling them what to do and what to say because um, that's not your place and that's not considered justice. So, so too, in this, in this Mishnah, it's the same sort of thing. Um, here it's saying, do not uh, let them uh, understand from your words about the case what to do. Examine them carefully. Uh, make sure that they're uh, thoroughly examined. And don't give them any uh, room to manipulate you um, because they can do that so stay very impartial stay very objective and the truth will come out next mission mission 10 shamaya vav talion kiblu mehem shamaya omer shamaya says ahav ehov es hamelacha love work usanas harabanos and uh detest the uh We'll say for now, high office. And do not become uh, intimate with the authorities. So let's break it down um, one by one. Uh, Rabbi Hirsch says that the common denominator, the common thread here is personal independence. And that the mission is telling, teaching you how to remain personally independent so you can maximize what you want to do in life. So the first one is to love work. Love work um, that allows you economic independence, and then you're not dependent on other people. You're self-reliant. Um, of course, back then it was a lot. It was a lot simpler. The number of jobs were were simpler, um, and if you worked hard enough, you could be successful. Nowadays, obviously, with our job market, it's a lot harder to um, to let's say find work and to also maybe work for yourself. So, um, you know, the fact that you're dependent on someone nowadays, like a boss, um, you know, you just have to roll with that. Um, and yet, it's still the same principle. Love work because uh, that will allow you to be economically uh, independent. We're going to see also in the second uh, parak, in the uh, second Mishnah, why the value of work um, is even a religious one, but we'll save that for the second pair. Usnasarabanos, uh, hate the rabbanos. Now that sounds like rabbinate. So a lot of times we do say rabbanut is rabbinate. Um, so you could translate it as that, um, but then you have to figure out, you know, what does it mean, hate the rabbinate? You know, don't aspire to um, become a rabbi. Maybe you could take it that way. Rabbi Hirsch, though, says it means uh, detest high office, right? Because if you take um, if you take the high office position, you're going to have a lot of people trying to influence you, trying to ask you for things. It's a very hectic job. It's not always uh, the most uh, lucrative, and it's sometimes very thankless. So, of course, we have crooked politicians, but what he's saying is, if you know, even if your intention is to be an honest person um, in a high office, and obviously some people need to do that, but uh, he's he's you know, according to this approach, he's saying that you're not going to be able to become independent if you um, become someone that holds office like that. So that's just something to think about. The last thing is actually related to that. It's do not become intimate with the authorities. Uh, now, why would that be? So, um, we know that the authorities or politicians are fickle. 
So just like the previous um, item said, do not try to aspire to hold high office. This part is saying, don't become intimate with others, with the government, with the authorities that hold high office. Uh, don't do that either, because sometimes you might, um, you know, you might think you're your buddies with them, you, and you, you, you know, you, you confide in them and you give them secrets of the community, let's say, and then it gets used against you, right? So a lot of times they're going to want your vote and they'll, you know, be, uh, have a nice disposition towards you and show you that before election, but then afterwards things often change. And uh, especially back in the times of the Mishnah when, you know, you had the Romans and other uh, authorities lurking. They didn't always love the Jewish people. So the Mishnah is, you know, again, talking to that generation, um, first and foremost, and saying, you know, be wary of connecting too much with the officials um, because it can always come back to haunt us uh, and haunt the Jewish people. So, again, just something to think about. Uh, have a good Shabbos, a good weekend, and uh, hopefully we'll continue on Monday, God willing.